Welcome to All Taste Zero Waste. It's the show where a charity chef takes on a celebrity cook to whip up a tasty meal while showing how we all can reduce our food waste. Every single thing used in these dishes would have gone to waste. Exactly. Food waste causes four times more carbon emissions than global aviation, and it's hurting our planet. With the vision of a world where no good food goes to waste, Food Cloud connects businesses with too much food to local community groups who can use it. Now, both chefs will blind pick from our table full of ingredients, all of which have been deemed surplus and kindly donated to Food Cloud. The chefs have just 30 minutes to present their dish to our guest diner, who will sample blind before declaring a winner. I had never seen these ingredients before. This is why I don't do these things under pressure. <laughs> so get your spatulas ready. It's time to meet this week's chefs. My name is William Murray, and I'm probably best known for being one half of the food company Curabini. My name is Gavin Lynch, and I'm a volunteer in Purple House Cancer Support Centre in Bray. I'm quite nervous about the challenge. I've never done anything like this before. I hope there's like a nice range of ingredients there that I can sort of do something with. I have no strategy, it's just go with the flow and see what happens up in the end. William and Gavin, on front of us here, we have our all taste, zero waste food table. Surplus food that's been donated to Food Cloud from our food industry partners. Normally, this would go to charities across the country, but for today, we're using these ingredients to showcase what fantastic things you can do with surplus food. You have 30 minutes to prepare and present your final dish, and you can choose whatever you like. Your 30 minutes starts now. There's a lot to choose from. Bit of a mountain of food here. Oh, don't take the sausage meat. Are you having breakfast? Right, you look like you have a bit of a plan. I think I do. I which think is, I'm uh, on somewhere. Sort of more than I have at the moment. Sugar. Yeah, I've seen something. Curveball. My turn. Yeah. Chili. Definitely going to go for cream. I'm thinking. Yeah, I have a few ideas. Ah, yeah. And I'm definitely missing something. I think a leak. I'm going to make a kind of a, a brunchy kind of dish. So using sausage meat, I will make sausage meat patties on a bloomer sourdough, apple kind of chutney, and some potato wedges. But 30 minutes to get them on. I was happily surprised. At first glance, there was a lot of stuff, but when I actually took a proper look, there was enough there to make something anyway, hopefully. So I'm going to make um, kind of sausage, sausage meatballs with pasta and mustardy kind of creamy sauce. That's my plan for the moment. Deep breaths, William. Deep breaths. Don't <laughs> worry. So in terms of food sustainability, mm. um, what does that actually mean to you? In a country like Ireland, you know, we produce so much amazing food here. Oftentimes the stuff on our doorstep is actually fresher, better quality. You know what, last year I started growing on our rooftop in Dublin because we don't have a garden. And we grew radishes, beetroot, carrots, all sorts of salad leaves. It was amazing. Just to eat something that you've grown yourself is like such a special thing. Okay, so William, you've loads to do. I'll leave yeah. you at it. Gavin, how are you doing? I'm not doing too bad now. I have my apple chutney on, my pants on from my patties and my potatoes and peppers are in the oven. It looks great. This week, we want to highlight the fantastic work of our partners, Purple House Cancer Support. They provide services and supports to families across Ireland affected by cancer. With Purple House, I help out doing uh, charity work, so trying to do as much fundraising as I can with them. Well, with the food cloud and the food that we're getting off them, we're delivering out to the families but you're also a chef. I'm also a chef, yeah, in a, a nursing home. I have been in restaurants and bars, and but at the moment with COVID-19, I wanted to find a safety net for myself and my family. It's nice to cook for the elderly as well, that they're getting fed and they're getting their nutrients that they need and everything like that. So guys, we've got 20 minutes gone, 10 minutes to oh, go. Oh no. <laughs> How are you getting on? Time flies when you're having fun, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it actually does smell delicious. Surprisingly, it's getting there. Good, good. It might be a little bit al dente. Well, but that's good. isn't that how the Italians that's like good, it? That's good, exactly. Yeah. Mm. 
William and Gavin, you've got five minutes left. You gonna get there in time now, William? I think so. I think yeah. I'm just about gonna make it. What about you? I think so, yeah. Okay, I'll do it, but it's just about there. I'm gonna drain it. Get them off in the oven quickly. Last minute, time to start plating up. Are you Great. done? Are you ready? I I'm think I'm there. About there, yeah. Great way of presenting pasta and meatballs, is there? The I don't know if we're the better sort of say, isn't it? Okay, lads, time's up. Oh. Step away from your plates. Yep. Very close. Very close. <laughs> <laughs> Skin of my teeth. Just got there. This week's guest diner is none other than Karen O'Donoghue from DIY. Karen travels around the country supporting communities to live happier healthier and more sustainable lives by growing some of their own food. Food sustainability is important because the way that we produce and consume food at the moment is a massive contributor to the climate crisis. And equally importantly, it's the one thing that every single person on the planet today can do differently. So if we become aware about it, then we can change the way that we think and the way that we act about it. Of course I'm looking forward to tasting the food today. I can't remember the last time somebody else made dinner for me. Okay, Karen. On the left we have a sausage meatball spaghetti with creamy mustard sauce. Delicious. On the right we have a sausage patty sandwich with an apple chutney, roast red peppers, apple and celery salad, and a side of garlic and herb wedges. That is incredible. So every single thing used in these dishes would have gone to waste. Exactly. That is bonkers bananas. Yeah. I am starving, right? Let me have a little go. Okay, so can I just say, first of all, it looks amazing. Like the presentation is gorgeous. Here we go. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Delish. Don't go away. I'll be back. Okay, <laughs> here we go. This is a tricky one. It is quite the sandwich. Sorry, chef, for deconstructing the deliciousness. Oh, wow. Bread is actually one of the most wasted things that we have, so it's really good that the chef incorporated. In my incorporated. house too, in my house too, yeah. I have to confess. So yeah. Okay, here we go. That's just so yummy. Oh, this is nearly impossible. Plus, what a joy to be served food. I know. What a lovely treat. Hats off for making this out of surplus food. I think that is just an incredible achievement in and of itself. But if I had to go on, I'm going to go with the sausage and pasta dish. Well done. Who cooked the sausage? Oh, bravo. <laughs> well done, William. A lot of fast thinking, you know? Yeah. You kind of have to think on your feet, which I'm not used to anyway. It was good to challenge myself and to come up with something that fast and get squeezing into the half an hour. It's great. Enjoyed it. There's so much food that goes to waste, and we really have to start thinking about cutting back on, like, buying things we don't need and using everything that we have already in our kitchens and stuff. All recipes can be found at food.cloud. Next time on All Taste Zero Waste, in a battle for the best dish, it's Holly Dalton versus Molly Canan from the Rainbow Club in Cork.